Okay, in today's quick video, we're going to talk about how to write perfect meta descriptions for e commerce stores. Now, this doesn't just apply for e commerce stores, but generally they're the ones that ignore meta descriptions the most. And we're going to talk about what they are and how to write the perfect ones within a very short five to seven minute video. Okay, so meta descriptions themselves are extremely important for click through rate, but they don't actually impact organic rankings. So you don't need to implement any keywords officially. Um, I will talk about why you should in a second. Um, and here's a quick example of ours. So ROI driven technical SEO, link building and digital marketing services. Okay. Um, this is a meta description with something called site links. So you see the mini internal links below. But for the most part, we're going to be talking about meta descriptions of category pages and inner product pages today. So this is kind of the five point really refined, easy to understand checklist that I would recommend taking a screenshot of or basically just writing down for your team member who is going to write meta descriptions or even if you're going to outsource this, this is what you should be looking for. OK, so the first one is although we don't have to implement keywords into the meta description for the reason of organic rankings, we still should because keywords when you search them get bolded. So if you see this previous example, the HQSEO part here obviously is bolded, and that's because that was my search term inside Google. So that actually increases click through rate kind of drastically. If you have one that has multiple keywords and keyword variations bolded and Google will also bold keywords, they mean the same thing. So, for example, if somebody searched um, SEO agency, Another keyword that would be bolded would be SEO company or SEO consultancy. OK, they all mean the same sort of thing. Google knows that Google smart enough semantically to know that. So they bold those keywords as well. And that increases click through rate to the actual URL. So they should be implemented in as many meta descriptions as possible. OK, the second point is capitalization. So this is simply categorizing uh, sorry, capitalizing the first word in each or the first letter of each word. And that goes for the entire meta description. So although it's not obviously very good English grammar practice, um, it should be done because it really improves the click through rate again. All of these are going to be focused on click through rate because organic rankings obviously have nothing to do with it. OK. Um, third one is strong, punchy power words inside the meta description. So, for example, if you offer free delivery or free next day delivery, you need to say that potentially capitalize free, potentially mention that right at the end to win that final click or if you offer some sort of five star review guarantee or any sort of additional unique selling point that needs to be in your meta description because that can improve click through rates of you know two three percent straight off the bat just by having strong punchy selling power words in there so i recommend having a look into copywriting and obviously basing it on the next point so write this as if it were an ad so Ads, Google Ads managers spend days, you know, even weeks crafting the perfect ad if they're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on advertising it. Whereas SEOs tend to just kind of ignore meta descriptions to a certain extent, even though they are mini ads in themselves. So if you rank in the top three, the user can obviously see the majority of the top three results above the fold on desktop anyway. So they're going to be reading likely the first at least two or three both the title and the meta description and whichever one they think is the most interesting they're going to click on okay which brings us on to point five which is the overall goal of the meta description is to pre-sell the product or if it's a category page we're writing it for then pre-sell the category and of course win the click okay everything that is talked about above whether that's keywords getting bolded capitalization punchy words or writing it as if it is an ad is to win that click okay so the power of meta descriptions, especially for e-commerce stores, isn't in the singular, so optimizing one. It's instead in the edge about having a higher 2 to 5% click-through rate across your entire store. If your store does, say, sells 100 products and generates 100k a month in organic revenue, then implementing custom meta descriptions will increase it from anywhere from 2 to 7%, and that's an extra 2 to 7k a month just by implementing 100 custom meta descriptions, which will take you know, an SEO agency probably around five to 10 hours. We'll take your in-house team maybe a day, two days max, 
and add in that simply, even if it was the lower end, around 3K a month, you know, at the end of the year, you have 40K additional revenue and it's taken you probably 10 hours to implement. So obviously that's a, an amazing sort of ROI for time. So here we're going to have a look at a few examples. I've tried to remove all information apart from the meta description um, because obviously I wanted to keep the stars at the top because this is rich snippets. So you see the rating for uswitch.com, uh, 4.4, 2000 reviews. That's really going to drastically improve conversion rates, but that's not meta descriptions as such. That's called featured snippets. Uh, sorry, that's called rich snippets or schema markup. So we won't talk about it in this video. But what we are going to talk about is the meta description below and actually why sort of ads managers and paid marketers are a lot better generally than organic marketers at this. So if you have a look, you can see compare our top credit card deals and get the right one today. Apply at you switch, apply online. I don't love this, but the first part is good. It's bolded. So the keyword I used in this example is credit card because obviously this is a massively competitive niche. This is kind of the one that I recommend reverse engineering for a lot of people. So as you can see here, they've got compare. So they're not trying to sell people right at the front. And they've obviously talked about top credit card deals. So the person thinks they are getting a good deal. Okay. And then get the right one today, putting a little bit of urgency in there as well. Okay. If we have a look at the second one, know for sure if you'll be accepted for a credit card before you apply. Obviously, if somebody reads that, they kind of want to know because if you apply and fail, it does affect your credit rating. Um, text and email alerts, 60 second response is obviously a massive one. You know, would you want to get something in 60 seconds versus not know how long it takes? So I really like that line. Um, quick check tool, range of cards, bit generic at the end. But you see the first line is very well written in both cases. Um, and also they've capitalized the first letter of each word. There's a reason why that's been done. OK, when if we have a look at the final one, you could rebuild your credit representative 35.9 percent APR variable. Uh, new day limited. Find out if you are blah, blah, blah. Um, and then that actually cut off there as well. So, again, a lot weaker one. If these guys for ads are having relatively weak ones when credit card bids are 10, 15 dollars a click, then you know that realistically, if you do this for your meta description, you're going to see massive increases in click through rates and obviously as a result, organic rankings. And then you've got the bottom one, find the best credit card deals by comparing a variety of offers, balance transfers, blah, blah, blah. Apply online at creditcards.com. Don't love it, but it's not the worst one in the world. OK, there needs to be more power words in these ads. Um, the one 60 second response is probably the best line so far. Um, top credit card deals is obviously a good one as well. But it's just reverse engineering your competitors and even just copying what works best for them. So here's another quick case study. Um, the keyword here was surfboards. Um, if we work from the bottom up, you can see Channel Island surfboards. That meta description is kind of terrible. Um, straight up, just horrific. They don't really say anything. It's obviously pulled directly from the site. It looks like it's a footer um, and it's just really bad. Um, the second one up is a little bit too specific for my liking because obviously we want to have people to have an option when it's a category based search term. Um, almond surfboards, some sort of series, price. It would be fine if it was an individual product page, that as it's not. I don't love that. And then you've got the Surf Station store. Um, surf Station has one of the largest collections of new and new surfboards in the world, browsed by top surfboard brands like Channel Islands, Firewater, blah, blah, blah. So that's a little bit better because what that's talking about is actually giving you a little bit more advice, telling you that they sell new and used ones. And obviously, we've got that keyword um, surfboards in there as well that's bolded. Um, and then finally, huge selection of in-stock surfboards. Great. From top brands along with expert reviews. Great. Fast shipping and killer customer service. Great. Welcome to Real Brand Loft. Perfect. OK, so if they'd capitalized each word at the start, then I would have said that's a very, very, very good um, meta description. And that's probably one of the reasons why they rank top, because although meta descriptions don't affect organic rankings, user experience metrics do. So click through rate, time on site do affect organic rankings. So if they click through to this site after reading that, they're likely going to shop around and the site probably has some good stuff on it as well. OK, so hopefully that all makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And the first part is just the right custom meta descriptions. It takes 
a little bit of time and it's not the most fun thing in the world, but the ROI of your time here does really convert. Okay. Um, if resources are short, hire help, potentially agencies or potentially overseas if you're on a budget. The ROI is proportional. Okay. So what I mean by this is if you invest 100 hours, then whatever your hourly rate over the course of a year's revenue will be just 10x, 1000% ROI, almost guaranteed, if you have an e-commerce store that already has a relatively high amount of traffic. Okay. If you have any other questions about organic SEO or marketing, please feel free to contact me via Twitter on Tom Buckland SEO, or you can contact me on hqseo.co.uk or amazonseoconsultant.com. Okay, cheers.